los ríos, danza, danza con el viento. Sirenita de los ríos, danza, danza con el viento. Con tus flores y aromas, perfumas los corazones. Con tus flores y aromas, perfumas los corazones. Everyone, this is my first pancake ever. I've never made pancakes before. I just flipped it. Not bad, eh? Not bad. First pancake ever. Woo! I made a really huge one. It was a bit of a fail. <laughs> I hope it'll be good. Danzaremos muy juntitos, sirenita bobinsana. This is the final result. <laughs> I know it doesn't look really uh, like good <laughs> with all those spots. You know, this is my first attempt at making pancakes, so they don't have a shape. Kind of shapeless, but filled with blueberries, hemp seeds, oats, maple syrup, almond butter. I even put added some walnuts on top. Okay, I'm gonna have a taste. My first pancakes I made myself. Mabu. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, delicious! I love that banana flavor, I just love it. The blueberries, the hemp seeds, the maple syrup, the almond butter, the walnuts. Mmm! Yay! Yeah. I would say it's a success, even though it doesn't look like a success. <laughs> I will refine my art, my skill, my pancake skills. Hey, so I just wanted to come on here and let you know that I have some leftover pancakes from earlier. I'll write out the recipe in the description box. It's a recipe by Ellen Fisher on YouTube. Uh, but I, I made like half her recipe. It was still too much. So yeah, I have some pancakes for tomorrow. Can I just say these smell amazing? You know, like banana pancakes have this like naturally sweet, fruity scent. So every morning I take this omega-3 DHA EPA supplement. Because the thing is, there's a lot of omega-3 and 6 sources, like plant-based sources. But um, if I'm not mistaken, it's ALA omega-3. That, that's the one that's in walnuts, for example. But DHA and EPA is extremely important. And it's only present in like the algae that the fish eat. So that's why people who eat maybe salmon um, will, will get it. But I prefer to go straight to the source, you know, the algae that the fish eat and it's very well absorbed and i'm also taking this naturello one daily multivitamin I'm taking this every day because you know i didn't want to start buying like b12 zinc iron now i am eating these very nutritious foods pretty much every day but in general i think that i just want to make sure that i hit the 100 percent mark and you know whether you're a vegan or meat eater um i think that you always have to make sure you eat very nutritiously dense foods so i've been taking this you can check it out i'll link it down below it has it's it's really clean like very good ingredients like all plants fruits and vegetables i've also been taking molasses organic molasses one tablespoon sometimes i'm taking two tablespoons because one tablespoon gives you 20 percent of your uh, iron for the day and it's also 10 percent of your calcium of the day and it has magnesium vitamin b6 you need to consume enough zinc to absorb the iron so if you're just like taking iron and not really making sure you're getting enough zinc so in this there's uh, also a good amount of iron and zinc so you know i'm taking this and i'm taking this and my omega-3s so yeah so just before i take my molasses i'm going to make myself some tea this is one of my favorite teas ever i discovered it while i was still at uni studying music and i do this because <laughs> this tastes really sweet and really strong so i just want to have my tea ready to go <laughs> to wash it down 
already smells so good. Ah, like roses. I just love it. So I've got my tablespoon of molasses. It's actually not that bad. Wow. <laughs> really easy, kind of fun way to, to get your iron and a bit of calcium as well. So now I'm gonna drink my tea. <laughs> Es la clave, cuál el secreto para estar en paz por completo. Dos pies en la tierra y un relato. Desde hace rato me tienen sujeto. El mundo es mi suelo, el cielo es mi techo. Buenos Aires donde cosecho mis anhelos y mis pasiones, pero solo hay vacío y no estoy satisfecho. Y no estoy satisfecho. Si hablo de amor, sé que la extraño. De mis actos en vida soy dueño, pero me calla el dolor por el daño. Es como un sueño dentro de otro sueño. Apuesto a pleno, pero de callado. Cada uno en la suya, yo ando rayado. Sigo esperando sentado, que esta vez el destino no me deje plantado. No, que no me deje plantado. No, no, no. Escúchame bien. No es chamuyo. Es amor. Me lava yo con mi H, la culpa no fue mía. De amor yo no sé nada, lo mío, la astronomía. Vos sabías bien. The Holy Trinity of Herbs: Mint, cilantro, and parsley. Pickled turnips, cucumber, tomatoes, pickles, kalamata olives. Also gonna cut some spring onions. So a lot of fresh veggies. So when the tofu starts getting like more brown, <laughs> well, it's ready. You can stop cooking it. And then we have this um, Greek, Greek pita. Me lava yo con mi H, la culpa no fue mía. De amor yo no sé nada, lo mío, la astronomía. Vos sabías bien que yo quiero un mamarracho. Vos no sabías bien, soy un borracho. Más y que ya no me reclames. No me esperé, flaca, ya no me llames. Todos lo saben, prefiero ser MC. Hasta el farolito de la calle que nací. Tengo una balada para un loco. Que la compice yo para mí porque estoy loco. Y eso me provocó que en vos pensás ella. Si un poema nace, los más hábiles dejamos pasar los abriles. Y móviles para... Hey, Gab is going to assemble. So first start with... The tahini, lemon, oregano sauce, the tofu, shawarma. So remember, this is a fusion of Greek gyro and Lebanese shawarma. Next is the holy trinity of herbs. <laughs> Cilantro, parsley, and mint. Oh my God, that looks really fresh. Pickled turnips, cucumbers, tomatoes. So those are Lebanese cucumbers, the small ones. And then some grape tomatoes, and then pickles. Kalamata olives, green onions, okay. perfect. And then just end with a good drizzle of that tahini sauce. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yum. Look at all of those delicious things. So I'm gonna eat it like, like kind of like a huge taco, you know? Like this, just bite into it. All right, so let's have a taste. Oh my God, my mouth is watering right now. I'm not even kidding, my mouth is watering. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. Tahini mustache. So easy and fast, like from start to finish, it takes about 20 minutes. And it's nutritious, yummy, delicious, and it's beautiful too. Ooh, Visually yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Hey, so we're um, making supper. We decided actually just to buy some pre-made samosas. Um, and we're going to make a cilantro chutney and a tamarind chutney. Got them at the health food store nearby. These are some vegetable samosas, baked. 
fried vegetable samosas for Gab. <laughs> he was craving them. And these tofu spinach samosas, also baked. Yeah, I really love these baked ones. I actually was really surprised when we were in India and Nepal that they only had the fried ones. I mean, I didn't see at all these baked ones. I think that's more of like a Western thing, I don't know. And we're kind of semi-following this recipe from Vegan Risha's Indian Kitchen. Love this recipe book. And the tamarind date chutney. Okay, so don't mind all the, <laughs> the dipping sauce ingredients, but this is a, a lemon and ginger beer from a local brewery very nearby from where we live. Lemon and ginger beer. I think that sounds really refreshing and I think it'll pair very nicely with the samosas <laughs> It's very light. It's not very strong. I love the gingembre mm. mm. Very nice, very nice Here is my cilantro chutney, of course made from scratch mm. And then there's this tamarind chutney And here are my samosas, I have a spinach tofu one and a vegetable one Alright, trying it with the tamarind chutney Oh mm, my god! Let's say taste the cilantro chutney now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah man So good! 